broadcast for shooters, hunters, and gun enthusiasts. This is the Firearms Radio Network. Hey everybody, 2015 SHOT Show. We are at the Desert Tech booth right now and meeting with Russ Wallace. Russ, thanks for uh, meeting with us today and giving us a little overview of uh, the MDR and some of the other things that you guys are going on. So uh, what would you like to start with? I'll start with uh, something that customers have wanted the most from. It's the carbon copy of the right-hand model. It's our new left-handed SRS. Again, it's exact copy of the right-handed model. We're just catering to our left-handed crowd. Everything's going to be the same, adjustable cheek piece, adjustable length of pull, modular forend, and obviously our quick change barrel conversions. Uh, along with that, something our customers have been wanting is a high cap or what we like to consider a normal capacity magazine, our competition ready 10 round mag. Uh, we've been doing a lot of development on this and we've come out with something to cater to our long range precision rifle match shooters and the PRS series shooters. What type of price point is on that? Uh, the left-handed SRS is going to be the same price, uh, depending on what features you get with it and calibers. It'll be around five thousand dollars. Okay. Uh, something we've been working on and we teased last year at the 2014 Shot Show is the R7S chassis. Uh, a lot of changes have been made over the past year to this. Obviously, you can see it's got the SRS modular forend on it a user removable pad for the PRS shooters to be able to barricade shoot on a flat surface. Uh, the, the rifle comes ambidextrous from the factory, so rifle builders, left-handed shooters, right-handed shooters, it doesn't matter. We have an aluminum spacer that fits in one side to go for a right-handed action. You take that spacer, put it in the left side, and you can shoot a left-handed action. Uh, when I say it's ambidextrous from the factory, it will fold to the left side, as well as when you get the folding option, it captures the bolt and folds to the right side. Then obviously locks. The base model is going to come from the factory with adjustable height of comb, as well as adjustable length of pull. Those are not options, it's coming standard. As of now, the only two options that are going to come with this is the patented Desert Tech monopod and the folding option. Uh, price point starting is going to be about $750, and something to note is it's about two pounds lighter than the equivalent Accuracy International. And is that available now, or is there still a little bit of a wait period on it? Uh, we're hoping 90 days. Okay. Uh, around 90 to 100 days, we should have around. Okay. You step over here. Sure. So anybody who knows me knows I like ELR shooting, but I also don't like loud rifles. We teamed up with Elite Iron, arguably the best uh, big bore can manufacturer out there, and he made us the new Elite Iron DTSS 375 shy tack suppressor. Uh, mounts directly to our proprietary brake, quick, quick thread attachment, and believe it or not, it makes a 375 shy tack hearing safe. So this is one of the th things I've been looking forward to a lot. And even suppressed, again, our HTI is quite a bit smaller than the conventional weapon system. How much additional weight does that can add to it? The can's about two pounds, a little over two pounds. So uh, with the way our chassis system is set up, the first six inches, seven inches of barrel is encompassed in the chassis. So we don't have the, the lag on the barrel that a normal conventional rifle has, especially on, when it's fired, we don't have the balance. Okay. And finally, something everybody's been working for, waiting for is the Desert Tech MDR. Uh, this is a 308 16-inch model with A2 birdcage. Uh, we had a media event a couple months ago, and we found that there's a lot of things we wanted to change. A couple changes we made is we went to a locking uh, ambidextrous charging handle. What I mean by that is it locks in and you can lock it to the rear. It's ambidextrous, both sides work at the same point. We've come up with an attachment here, you flip those, slide the forend off and you can adjust the piston driven gas block on the fly. There's no tools needed. It's got ambidextrous AR-15 style magazine drop as well as a strippable magazine drop there. 
Safety's the same as everybody else. Uh, again, it's a desert tech, so it's gotta be multi-caliber. Same idea as our precision rifles. You loosen the screws, you change the bolt, you change out the barrel, you have a new caliber with one, one chassis and one optic. Is that M lock on it? No. I'm sorry? Is that M lock on it? No. No. So what you see here is the MDR in a 10 inch version. When we switch to a smaller caliber from the 308, there's a mag block obviously. And we've teamed up with OSS to make some really great cans. Uh, there's no blowback, the recoil's better. And if you go with a full length version, you'll see we have bits under the hangar. So we have the OSS compatible hangar now. What type of price points are we talking on those? Uh, price is not firm on the uh, MDR yet, but I'm going to say somewhere in the low to mid 2000. Uh, it's just going to depend on what we come up with the final price point when it's ready for market. And how long are we uh, thinking for it being ready to market? We're pushing for fourth quarter 2015 to release it to market. Okay. Okay. Great. Thanks a lot for your time. We really appreciate seeing them. We appreciate you. Okay. Thank you. Take care. This has been a production of the Firearms Radio Network. You can find more information at firearmsradio.tv.